All right, so this is Vodcast 6, looking at mineral hardness. Again, we're working up uh, to being able to identify a mineral based on all of its properties. And this one, you're looking at the hardness of a mineral. Hardness of the mineral is just basically, what can that mineral scratch compared to others? All right, the hardest mineral can scratch the softer mineral, and it ranges from a 1 being the softest to a 10 being the hardest. If you look on page 52 in your book, you're going to find the Mohs hardness scale, and it'll describe what minerals uh, have what values. But really, what we're going to be doing is not scratching these minerals against other minerals, but against these objects right here. A street plate, a glass plate, an iron nail, copper penny, and your fingernails. Okay? All of those have a given hardness value that you can compare these minerals to. We're going to do three in this vodcast. So first off, um, what you really need to do is determine if a mineral is hard or soft. All, right. all hard minerals can scratch glass. Soft minerals can't. And just like in the streak test, what you're going to be doing is, for the glass, you're going to be taking that mineral and seeing if it can scratch it or powder onto it. Uh, you do not want to hold it in your hand because you may be pushing very hard on some of these. So do not hold this in your hand. Again, if I see that, you'll be done for the day. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If I want to know if a mineral is hard or soft, I'm going to take that mineral in one hand. We're going to start with a glass plate uh, held down on the table. You're going to push hard enough so that one of two things happen. Either this mineral will scratch the glass or this mineral will powder onto it. Uh, those are your only two options. If you don't do uh, push hard enough, nothing happens and that's not a result. All right. So if you push hard enough, all right. Well, there's some white powder on it that I can wipe off. All right, so really what I've done is determine that this mineral is softer than this. It did not scratch the glass. I left a little powder that I wiped off. This is definitely softer. Let's go with this next piece. Hold it down. And I usually look for a corner or an edge. Don't do it on the, the flat surfaces this way. All right, we'll push down hard until either this powders or it scratches it. And again, some white powder. This is softer. Try our third mineral. Find a good spot. All right, you can even feel and hear a difference with this mineral. All right. You can see that it did leave a white streak, but this time, let me hold it up. It's hard to see in here, but right here, I can rub my finger, fingernail across, and see that it actually left a little gouge in it. That shows that this mineral actually scratched the glass. So this is harder than the glass. The glass is a five and a half, and you do need to know all of the uh, hardness values. So that means this must be at least a five and a half, six. All right. If it's the same value, they'll scratch each other. Uh, but this is probably hard, harder. So this is a hard mineral. This is most likely a six or above. These are soft. Now, that's usually going to be good enough, but sometimes you do need to get it down to the exact hardness. So I can test this hard mineral real quick and see if it actually scratches the streak plate. Now, um, you'll either again feel that there's a, uh, a scratch in it or it's going to powder onto it and not leave that, uh, that scratch. Push hard. All right. I don't feel with my fingernail and a uh, scratch and I do see a bunch of white powder. So this did not scratch the streak plate. Very few things will. So is, since this is a six and a half, this is a five and a half, it could scratch this, but could not scratch that. So it's in between five and a half and a six and a half, which makes this a hardness of six. So that one's done. Now these guys were not able to scratch the glass. So they're soft minerals. And that means we're gonna compare them to an iron nail, which is four and a half, copper, three and a half, and fingernails. Uh, you can work your way down, but uh, in order to save some time here, all right, I can just, instead of trying to scratch the iron nail, I can take the iron nail. Oh, that definitely scratched it right there. Same thing there. All right, that means these are both softer than the iron nail. This is four and a half, so these guys are at least four or lower. 
the copper. All right. It's nice to get a nice shiny uh, penny, and it's either going to leave a gouge in this or it's going to powder. Push a little harder. See, that nothing really happened. It just kind of knocked the tarnish off. So I need to push even harder. There we go. And we have white powder. So softer than that. Also, white powder. So that is softer than a three and a half. So these are both less than three and a half. Now you're down to your fingernails. You can either A, use these as like a streak plate, or you can try to scratch it with your fingernail. So if I take my thumbnail and push down, I'm really not easily able to scratch this. So what I can do instead is use my thumbnail as a streak plate pushing down hard and feel that it's left nice little groove in there All right. so this is definitely harder than my fingernail so this is more like a three since my fingernail is two and a half and this one can easily scratch with my fingernail easily so this is much less than my fingernail this is more like a two maybe a one and a half alright uh, so that is the hardness test master it move on to the next one